people of St. Pius have such a strong love for the Eucharist, the body of Christ. St. Pius is my religious home. It's where I go to be fed. I baptize you in the name of the Father. St. Pius is what glues us together. It is the place we come to be grounded again and to be at peace. This is where the faithful come to pray. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Break bread. The Father and the Son. And grow as Christians. We are a place where they can come to know that the Lord is speaking to them through the scriptures. This church isn't just a building and it isn't just some place you go to on Sunday morning for an hour. It really is a focal point of our religion. St. Pius X is a spiritual home to 2,400 families in Lafayette, meeting the needs of Catholics inside and outside these walls for more than 45 years. We're really a, a community in the truest sense of what Jesus formed when he, he began uh, with the apostles, to form that family, that community. And to me, that's what we are here at St. Pius. It's a dynamic and vibrant community bursting at the seams. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. So many want to be part of this faith-filled family. They have trouble celebrating the Eucharist together. During Mass, parishioners stand along the walls and in the lobby. The cry room is out of room, and oftentimes there is only enough space for a few families. And if you are distracted with kids or, or just because you're standing in the back and not being able to, to see. You're not fully participating, and I think that's probably the biggest downfall for the folks that, that aren't able to be part of the, the community inside and, and together. Simply put, St. Pius has outgrown its home. Renovating isn't an option, so with prayer and years of planning, St. Pius is embarking on a capital campaign to give everyone a seat at God's table. Building the faith in Acadiana, body and soul, bricks and mortar, is an effort to give the community something it hasn't seen since the 1970s, a new church. We need this larger church so we can feed the spiritual needs of our family, of our parish family. And people need to be invited with open arms to come join us in this endeavor. It's not just for us right now. It's for the growth of our parish family, the growth of our school, and to increase our spiritual needs that can be met in this new church. There's always a balance between do we spend this money for a building, for facilities, or do we spend this money for charities, for missions, something different than a building. But God wants us to have places where we can worship that represent Him. This is what the new St. Pius Church will look like built right across the street from the current church. It will feature more than 30,000 square feet of finished space, complete with extensive office and meeting rooms, plus expanded parking. Seating in the church will almost double from 520 to 900, all designed to meet the growing needs of the parish now and for generations to come. Yeah, our family has grown and we've outgrown this house. We, we need a little bit bigger of a house to, to worship. Not only just worshiping, but for our, our meetings and for just all, all the different ministries that we have, we need the facilities to help us to continue with that mission. Right now, St. Pius supports more than 70 ministries and outreach programs, none bigger than the parish school. The students of today will be the parish leaders of tomorrow. This new church will be their home. That's why this building of this new church is so important for us, because it's all part of our future. It'll be something that, our, that my kids and all of our kids in the parish is going to see and be part of for years to come. We want a place where we can worship as a community, where we can express our gratitude for all the blessings we have, but a place where we come for the sacramental life of the church to where we immerse our children in the liturgical experiences of, uh, of the church. Prayer and an aging structure may have brought St. Pius here, but a calling to provide the future needs of the faithful is what drives us now. I think this is a campaign to support your own future. We're not just building another building. We're building a campus that is intended to serve the entire community. It's exciting to know that we are going to embark on a project of this magnitude and that uh, I think when at the end of the day, everyone is going to be very proud of it. In order for that to happen, the entire St. Pius family will be called on called on to be generous,
called on to make a sacrifice for the future of their parish. I would want everyone to be invested and to prayerfully consider what would, would it take on their part to become invested in this project and just let the Spirit lead them and guide them. It's a monumental project. It's not a project that any parish can do, but it seems to be a project that St. Pius can do. They built a wonderful school to maintain our Catholic education tradition for these kids and for generations to come. And I think now this parish has the vision to build a church building for this community now and in the generations to come, where our faith and our life can be, continue to be nurtured. Nurtured through prayer, breaking bread, and spiritual growth. Together, we are building the faith in Acadiana through body and soul, bricks and mortar.